Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and we are going to do this review on U substitution. So here are some examples for us to work on, so let's get started with this. And on this first one, we have the integral of x minus 4 to the 10th dx. So for this one, it's pretty basic as to what we're going to let u equal, and it should stand out that we're always basically going to look for the most complex thing. Typically, that's what it's going to be. So in this case, it'll we're going to let u equal this x minus 4. So we take the derivative of each side. We say du equals dx. Now, I'm going through this as just examples. Hopefully, you've uh, gone through this lesson and uh, can follow along here. And so now we've taken the derivative of each side. we got du equals dx. And what we're going to do over here is we will make our substitution. So instead of this x minus 4, I'll put in the u, because that's what I made it equal to. And that'll be u to the 10th. And then this gets substituted into being the du. And so now we just integrate this. And this is pretty straightforward to integrate. And in this one, we're going to get 1 over 11 u to the 11th plus c. And now at this point, we have to resubstitute our u value. So 1 over 11 times x minus 4 to the 11th plus c. So these examples that we're doing on this worksheet are pretty basic. It's just the basics of how to do this. And then I will post up a video later uh, with some more complex examples. Okay, so for number two, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And I see that this is the most complex structure in there. So that's what I'll start off with guessing. So we are going to let u equal the 5x squared minus the 3. So let's take the derivative of each side. du equals 10x dx. And at this point, let's go ahead and solve for the dx. We'll get du over 10x is what dx is. So we'll make our substitution at this point. 10x. There's nothing to substitute here. So let's see what happens. This became the u, and then the dx became the du over 10x. Well, what do you know? That worked out very nice. Oops, I forgot the squared here. That's a squared. That worked out very nice because these reduce out. So now we just have the integral of u squared du. So we can go ahead and integrate this, and we'll get 1 third u to the third plus c. And now we make our resubstitution, so we end up with 1 third, and this will be 5x squared minus 3 to the third plus c as our final solution. Okay, moving on to number 3. So this looks like it's more complex than the cosine because it's inside this other sign. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to say let u equal the sine of x. You could have tried with cosine, and you will you wouldn't really have gotten anywhere um, as far as when you try to simplify and reduce it. So uh, in this case, we're going to start with this one. So now du equals cosine x dx. So du over cosine x is what my dx is. Now let's make our substitutions. So we've got the integral of sine, and then this sine x became u, and then this cosine x is still here, and my dx became du over cosine x. Well, look, that reduces out. So now we just have the integral of sine u du. That's the whole idea of this substitution rule, in that things should reduce to make the problem much easier to integrate. So let's go ahead and continue on. So the integral of the sine is going to be negative cosine u plus c. And then we go ahead and plug this back in. So we've got negative cosine of the sine of x plus c as our final answer. Now you can always check your work by taking the derivative right here. So if we were to do that, we would get what we had originally. So I could take the derivative of this and I would get negative. So now the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. So this would be negative sine of sine x. Now I got to chain rule this times the cosine of x. Well, these two negatives make the positive, so I end up with sine of sine x times the cosine x, which is what I had originally right there. And so I know that I have done this correctly. So those match up. 
All right, next problem. So let's take a look at what we've got here. And on this one, we've got two parts. Well, now the dilemma is which one should I choose for you? You could try the first one, but typically we're going to go with this one because this has a higher power in here, and this is to a negative 5. It's a little bit more complex. So we always want to start with the one that's, again, a little more complex and see where that gets us. So I will go ahead and let u equal this x cubed plus the 3x. So du equals the 3x squared plus 3 dx. So du over this 3x squared plus 3 is my dx. All right, let's see. Let's make our substitution. So I've got the integral of x squared plus 1, and then this became a u to the negative 5, and then this dx became du over 3x squared plus 3. All right, well, let's take a look at what this 3x squared plus 3 is. So I'm going to say x squared plus 1, u to the negative 5, and I will just rewrite this by factoring out a 3, and I get that. And look, those will reduce. So you end up with 1 third times the integral of u to the negative 5, du. So we're going to go ahead and integrate this. So this becomes 1 third, and then when I integrate, I'm going to get u to the negative 4, so I'm going to need negative 1 fourth u to the negative 4 plus my c. So all this becomes negative 1 twelfth u. Actually, let me go ahead and make that resubstitution. That's why I paused there. I was looking for it, and it was x cubed plus 3x to the negative 4 plus c. Now, you can go ahead and leave it like this, or if you wanted to rewrite it, you can rewrite it as negative 1 over this 12x cubed plus 3x to the fourth power plus your c. Okay, and finally, this is our last problem here. Let's take a look at this one, and I will go ahead and make my guess, and on this one, I'm going to guess u to be the x minus 4. Again, I looked at the more complex one. It's to the 8th power, so let's go ahead and try that. So du will just simply be dx. So now I make my integral here, and I get 2x minus 3, and this becomes u to the 8 du. Uh-oh, what happened? Look at that. I still have this 2x minus 3 there. So at this point, we need to decide what to do. But instead of trying to choose the other one, because if I let u equal 2x minus 3, I'm going to come up with the same dilemma. So here's the trick on these. These have a little trick. You picked out that right there when you said let u equal x minus 4. Well, at the same time, that would mean u plus 4 is equal to the x. If I just add 4 to each side. So that's what really the x is. So we can go ahead and put that in here. And we could say the integral, and now I've gotten rid of the x and made everything in terms of u. So the key is, if you make everything in terms of one variable, you are able to integrate this much easier. So this becomes 2, and then this will be u plus 4 minus 3u to the 8th du, which is the integral of now I can distribute this 2u plus 8 minus 3 u to the eighth du. So we can go ahead and clean this up and I get the integral of 2u plus 5 times u to the eighth du. Make my distribution here and I'll get the integral of 2u to the ninth plus 5u to the eighth du. And I can finish this problem and this will end up being, when after I integrate, this will be u to the 10th. I've got a 2 out in front, so this will be 1 fifth, and that'll give me the uh, 2u to the 9th after I take the derivative. Plus on this one, I'm going to end up with u to the 9th. I need a 5 out in front, so this will be 5 9th. And let's just check it real quick. Take the derivative, you get 5u to the 8th plus c, and now make the resubstitution. So this becomes x minus 4 to the 10th 
plus 5 ninth, x minus 4 to the ninth, plus c. So hopefully this uh, video uh, helped you. This is just a quick little easy video on some basic u substitutions. So look for video number two. I'll do some more complex ones. Then. So thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe.